Hey guys, it's me, Mia, and welcome back to my channel. So, today, I'm going to play around with some acrylic paints. And it's the Michaels brand called Artist Loft. Now, a couple weeks ago, Michaels, they had acrylic paint on sale. It was their Artist Loft paint, and I think the Liquitex paint too. But I went to the store, and... Yeah, there, there wasn't much left at all. There wasn't much left. Same thing with the Liquitex. The only acrylic paints that were available were the more high-end ones. And I wasn't going to purchase those. So, Michaels did have, the Michaels I went to, they did have two acrylic paint sets. Which included, um, which includes all of these colors here. So, titanium white. Brilliant Yellow, Brilliant Red, Phthalo Green, Brilliant Blue, and Mars Black. And so, when I went to Michael's, I was actually looking for very specific colors, you know, like turquoise, something metallic, colors that you can't really mix from primary colors, but when I saw that there was nothing left on the shelves, I said, you know what, just in case, you know, I run out of acrylic paint. I'm going to just grab this set. So that's what I have and we're going to play around with it right now. When I'm ready to use these paints, I'm going to use this palette paper pad which is also Artist Loft. And when I paint with acrylic paints, I like using the palette papers. I do have this stay dry type of thing with a lid for acrylic paints. but I don't really use it that much. I prefer the paper because it's just, when I'm done with it, I can just rip it off and throw it away. I have here a Mont Marty. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a canvas pad, acid free, acrylic gesso prime, 280 grams per square meter, 10 sheets, suitable for use with any medium. And I paid for this. $5.99 at HomeSense. So I said, you know what, since this is so cheap, you know, I can just buy this and use it just to practice techniques on and not have to worry about wasting my good canvases. But let's take a closer look. Pretty sturdy paper, well, sheets. And just for comparison, this is an Artist Loft brand canvas pads. Oh, yeah, these are some apples I was painting in oil. But just ignore those for now. <laughs> but as you can see, this one is a little more flimsy. You can just roll it up. Whereas with this one, Hmm. I guess it's flimsy as well. It was feeling a little bit stiff. But anyway, enough rambling. Let's start painting something.
so I finally finished playing around with these Artist Loft acrylic paints. And if you guys ever go to Michael's and they don't have any more, um, I think it's open stock paint, then just get the acrylic set. And these are pretty much all the colors you need. And you can mix them up and get all these colors that I got here. And at first, I didn't understand why phthalo green was included in the Artist Loft acrylic set, but when I mixed it with white, I got this pretty turquoise color, which is one of my favorite colors. And what else? Yeah, the paint was great to work with, and this cheap palette canvas pad, it wasn't too bad to work with. It was great as well. I would recommend it. I mean, it's only, only pay like $5.99 for it, and it's pretty decent stuff. And I really loved using this Wee Mop brush for dry brushing because I use dry brushing a lot to blend my colors and I thought it was phenomenal. So I am so glad that I got this brush from Palette Full Packs. It was in their May box. But I think I covered about everything and Oh yeah, one more thing. You know, while I was working on these paintings, I made some mistakes. Well, I didn't make mistakes. There were things that I did that I didn't like. But, I was able to cover those up with new layers of acrylic paint. So, that's one thing that I like about acrylic paint is if you mess up, you can just paint over it. And, yeah. So anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!